So a couple days ago, I posted a video on the brand new 80 volt Ryobi, not Ryobi, 54 inch zero turn mower. And I told you in that video that I was gonna put this thing to the test. Now they claim that you can cut up to four acres with this zero turn mower on a full charge. Here's the thing, we got an acre right here. And let me tell you, this has not been cut all spring in Ohio. I mean, this stuff is thick, it's nasty. We're gonna slice and dice, we're gonna use and abuse. We're gonna see how this mower is gonna handle this type of grass now we're in ohio right now and it's wet it just rained for like two weeks straight we got kentucky bluegrass we got rye grass we got fescue we got a mix here in ohio that's just how we roll here in ohio but my speed settings i got the blade all the way up maxed on high again you can adjust the settings you want to see that full video with all the specs and the features i'll leave that at the end of this one so yeah the blade speed we're set on high as far as it goes with the mower speed there's three different speeds again the low the high the medium we're set on medium you're looking around like four miles per hour four and a half miles per hour whatever we are going to go full board with this. I want to see if this thing's going to bog down. It's a fully charged mower right now. You got three 80 volt bat rays in there. Look at the nasty right there. It's just going through. I want to point something out. But we got four 12 age bat rays, three 80 volt bat rays completely charged. Now, this grass, I'm going to take you for a ride with me here in a bit. This stuff is high, man. It is funky. It is cutting. I was thinking, okay, this is going to kill the bat ray. Right, it's gonna bring it down to zero within the first like I don't know, twelve minutes of mowing, and then not only that, you're probably gonna leave clumps because anytime I use a gas mower, didn't matter what size, it always clumped or this thing has six freaking blades on it, and because it's all bat ray powered, it's nothing but torque. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just ride around with you a little bit here. You can hear I'm gonna let you hear this thing cutting here in a bit. I'm having a fun, fun time. This thing here is 54 inches, but it doesn't feel like a giant mower. We talked about this thing being an acre. We're gonna go, basically we have this thing, not on the highest setting, but one click down when it comes to mower height. And if you want again, all the specs, I'll put that video at the end of this video. But we're just trying to get the heavy stuff. And then I'm gonna go through this again with the lower set. I'm gonna go down two more clicks on this mower. But this stuff is what You can literally see the water. And I'm gonna show you mud tracks where i'm at on the other side then we're going to cut this thing again we're just trying to get that heavy nasty stuff down and then once we do we're going to lower that deck speed we're going to hit it again i'm going to see where that bat ray is now i am going to speed this up a little bit as far as it goes to the right again this yard is bumpy it's not completely smooth and what's nice about this is that that chair is very comfortable you can adjust the cushiony to the buttocks if you will but it just cuts and here's the other thing even that really high nasty stuff there are no clumps there are no clumps now i do want to point one thing out we're going to continue cutting this but my father-in-law he's i think almost 84 years old he's the coolest guy in the world he's the nicest guy in the world and he's never used anything like this not only battery power but he's never used with a joystick and i told you at first it takes some time to get used to when you're when you're operating this thing you've never used a joystick or even paddle bars you know but once you get the hang of this thing you're doing like zero turns and everything no issues but i will tell you this within like the first 10 minutes he started getting the hang of it started getting a little bit faster with it but the entire time he was on this thing he was just smiling from ear to ear and he just had a good time with it i think he was nervous and listen look at the stuff that he was cutting i i don't even think he could believe because of the torque on these these mowers the back ring that it was cutting down that grass so well. And again, this is not the highest setting. It's a one click down. But man, you know, he was just having a good time with the joystick. He was just having a good time with the whole thing and just couldn't believe how silent it was when the whole thing was running. All right, so let's get back to mowing here. Now, Bat Ray, after I cut this one acre, I'm telling you, this stuff was money. I'm going to take you on this. We're going to spend some time together. I'm going to put this video camera on here with me. But after I cut the one acre, all of this, I still had 78% left on the bat ray. And that's after that crazy high grass. And the one thing I want to point out, look, there's no clumps. There is no clumps from this mower right here. This blade, the blades underneath the six blades just takes the stuff up, chews it so finely. You don't even see it, which is amazing. Any gas mower that I've ever used, listen, it doesn't matter. I've always had clumps. I've always had clumps. There's no clumps. Six blades underneath this thing. All right, my friends, let's go for a ride together. Now you can see just up close and personal how nasty this stuff is. I mean, it's high, it is wet, it is moist. 
It is just all around just hard to cut. It doesn't matter what mower you're on. Now, I will say this. This mower itself, you can see the, the wet on the grass. Why don't you get over in that corner? But this mower is still a residential mower. It's still a DIYer mower. Now, it has power. Don't get me wrong. I mean, but you're looking at one acre. We were down to 78%. And that right there was sort of surprising. That was a good thing because I was expecting this thing to be at like 40%. No, 78% on the one acre with grass this high, this wet, this moist. It took it down. Now, as far as it goes with bogging down, again, usually on a gas mower, you would feel some bog down, depending on the size of the mower. But generally, on something this thick going this fast, you would just wear on the gas is trying to feed the motor. The torque on this is constant. It's instant the bat ray power just sends it to the blade. So even though I had a bog down for maybe like a fraction of a second, it kicked right back up. And that was on some really wet, heavy, moist grass. So it was phenomenal with how well this thing handled in this high, thick grass. Now, I cut it all down with the first setting. I mean, basically, like I said, it was the highest setting down one click. And then I went down two more clicks and I cut this all again. I wanted to make sure that the grass was you know, even. I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any strands sticking up and I wanted to make sure that I can get this a little bit lower. Helps the grass dry out a little bit more too. That said, when I was done cutting all of this for the second time, I still had 68% on the mower. So technically, I mowed two acres with this. And again, the blades were all the way up on high speed. And again, for them saying that this is a four acre, we cut two acres and one with that crazy amount of grass. You see how high it was. It still has 68% of the bat ray life after I cut this twice. And yeah, this stuff was wet not only from the two weeks of rain that we had, but also it was morning when we cut this. So it still had that doage. And it's extremely fast. So we went from this to this without using a drop of gas and still having 68% of the bat ray left. Best thing about it is too, it was super quiet. You're not hearing that loud mower like you usually do. You just pull up on that blade and it's ready to cut. And we had some fun while we were doing it again. Look at that heavy stuff that we went down through and it just took it like a champ. And, it, and no clumps. It just spread the stuff out. Six blades on this bad boy. So there you go, my friends. As promised, use and abuse. We slice and dice on the brand new Ryobi 54-inch zero-turn bat ray powered mower. Now, of course, I want to know what you think. Let me comment in the comment section below. Do you think it cut good? Do you not think? I mean, I want to know what you think. And I, listen, I get it. The price are a little bit high on this thing. But if you're tired of gas, if you're tired of dealing with the maintenance, you got a five-year warrant tie on this on this mower right here and that's pretty real nice like so i'm curious to know what you think check out this video right here i think you're going to enjoy that as well we'll be back with more videos soon